everyone. This week we're creating these easy paper award ribbon rosettes. So to get started, you'll need to cut two pieces of paper that are each 11 inches wide by two inches tall. Next, you'll need to cut two circles that are about two and a half inches in diameter. So for that, I found this jam lid that was about that size and I just traced two of those onto the paper. You can make yours bigger or smaller if you'd like. So I traced those and then cut them out. And then I just wanted to show you here, they're just under two and a half inches in diameter. Next, you'll need two pieces of paper that are four and a half inches wide by one and a half inches tall. And then you'll take each of those and cut a triangle into the bottom of one end. And you can take the triangle you cut out of the other one to guide the cut on the second one so the triangles look the same. So they should look like this. Next, we're going to go back to those 11 inch long pieces and you'll need a scoring tool or an old pen that doesn't write. I'm using this EK Tools scoring stylus and you'll need a ruler to guide the score lines. So we're going to be scoring a line every half an inch. And if you have a cutting mat like this that has a grid with inches, it's super helpful for this. If not, you'll just have to measure everything out. So I'm going to start half an inch from the end and just put a score line on both of those pieces. I'm scoring both at once to make things faster, but if you have trouble with this, just score one at a time. That's fine too. So I'm just going to score a line and then move the ruler half an inch and just keep doing this until I get to the very end. Then they should look like this with all the score lines. Then take one of those pieces and we're going to start folding. So fold that top backwards like this, then flip it over and fold it forwards. Flip it over and fold it back. Fold it forwards and fold it back and just keep repeating this until you get to the end of the piece. So once you're finished with that, it should look like this. And then just go ahead and repeat that on the other piece. So now both pieces are folded like an accordion and just take one of those and flip it over. So you have one piece where the end pieces are going down and then one piece where the end pieces are going up like this. And that makes it so these two pieces can easily attach together on those end pieces. So just take some hot glue and put it here on the end. And then just glue that other end piece in place. Make sure it's well attached. And then you can fold that back up so it looks like this. Now we're going to be gluing the other end together. Just like before. So put glue on one end. And press the other one in place. Then you can fold that back up. And you'll have something that looks like this. So you should have all of these pieces and we're ready to assemble everything. So start with this piece first, push it against the table to flatten it out and then push all the sides inwards so it's as scrunched up as possible. Then hold that in place with one hand and then with the other hand put glue on one of the circles that we cut. And this is the only part that's a bit tricky, just try your best to hold everything in place while you press that circle in place to secure everything. So it should look like this on this side. So flip it over to the other side. And now we're going to be adding the other circle here. So I'm going to be putting glue on this. And this will be the front side of the ribbon. So be careful as you place this circle to center it as well as you can. And press that in place. Make sure everything is well attached. And it looks like this at this point. So now we just need to add these two bottom ribbons. So just decide how you want them to be positioned and how much of the ribbon you want to show. So I like to have mine angled about like this. And then I'll just decide how high up I want this to be. So go ahead and put some glue right on the corner of one ribbon and glue those two together. And then we'll just be adding this. So I'll just put some glue here and then glue that in place. So here is the finished ribbon. Feel free to write something on it like first place or whatever you'd like. There's a lot of different things that you could use these for. 
I hope you enjoyed this paper award ribbon tutorial. If you'd like to see more paper crafts from my channel, click the link on screen and feel free to subscribe to see future videos. Thanks so much for watching.